Good day. The topic I will be discussing will be cooling systems, cooling towers. A cooling tower is designed to reject heat from the condenser water to the ambient air. Here is a diagram for circulating cooling system. As the condenser water flows through the tower, the red one, the heat is rejected to the ambient air by evaporation. Then the remaining condenser water from the cooling tower is cooled to the desired living temperature and will be recirculated in the system. The circulating water system supplies cooling water to the turbine condensers and thus acts as a medium through which heat is rejected from the steam cycle to the environment. Cooling water can flow through the condenser in two methods, one through system and closed loop system or the cooling tower. One through system is where the supplied water will flow through the system once and will be discarded after. While closed loop system or cooling tower refers to the recirculation of the water in the system. Here is a figure for a schematic arrangement of cooling tower. So the cooling tower is designed for cooling large quantities of water which circulates in a water recycling system. Simula yung flow ng water from the condenser papunta sa water distribution system with the use of spray nozzles yung tubig will be equally distributed sa may packing or dun sa fill kung saan nagaganap yung heat transfer. Then yung air inlet dun sa may lowers then yung air will flow vertically upward papunta sa may drift eliminator then fan and cold water basin dyan na iipon yung uh, condenser water na pabalik sa condenser components of cooling tower so there are main components of cooling tower fill, fan, drift eliminators, and lower. Fill, ito yung medium ng heat transfer sa cooling tower na designed to maximize the air-water contact surface area. Kasi kapag larger surface area, mag intensify yung evaporation which will result for the cooling tower to be more efficient. There are two types of fill, splash type, and film type. The splash type is a fundamental approach in which water is encouraged to form water droplets. So, yung shape ng fill slats ay flat or triangular para ma-reduce yung airflow pressure drop. For film type, Instead of breaking the water flow into fine droplets, it provides large surface areas over which the water is allowed to spread out. This advantage lang ng film type, kapag lilinisan, kailangang i-disassemble sa may part ng fill para malinisan, which is uh, time-consuming and expensive next is fan so yung fan um, it is arranged to push or pull yung air through the tower so merong two types ng fan na ginagamit either centrifugal or axial fan pero for large cooling towers usually ang ginagamit ay axial fan Next, drift eliminators. Ito ay assembly ng baffles para uh, matrap 
yung mga water droplets from the air stream na aalis or lalabas from the cooling tower. Ang, ang purpose is to reduce yung loss sa cooling tower and it is proven to be cost effective. Lower. So, kung sa drift eliminators na design para itrap yung water droplets, yung lovers naman, it provides entrance to the air entering the tower. Other methods of cooling, spray pan and cooling pan. Um, atong other methods of cooling, uh, dahil sa environmental pollution, naging less viable na ang um, natural cooling pans or heat sinks. Kaya hindi na siya masyadong ginagamit. Mostly cooling tower na din. At dahil na din sa rising demand ng cooling sa industry. Classification of cooling based on heat transfer method. So, merong wet cooling tower and dry cooling tower and fluid cooler. Wet cooling tower. So, it is an open circuit cooling tower where process water directly contacts with the ambient air. Yung heat transfer ng water at saka ng air direct contact. Then, sa dry cooling tower naman, it is a closed circuit cooling tower involves no direct contact between the ambient air and the fluid being cooled. For fluid cooler, either air or water heat exchangers which cool with ambient air rejects heat but they consume a measurable decrease in water usage. Cooling classification based on air draft. So we have natural draft, fan assisted natural draft, mechanical draft force, and mechanical draft induced. A natural draft, it makes use of chimney operation. The airflow is caused by the temperature difference between the air inside and outside the cooling tower. For fan-assisted natural draft, ito yung combination ng natural draft at mechanical draft. So, yung airflow sa tower ay produce ng one or more fans. Mechanical draft force. So, the airflow is pushed through the cooling tower sa may air inlet. So, magkakaroon tayo ng positive pressure. Mechanical draft induced. Yung airflow is pulled through the cooling tower sa may air outlet. Kaya magkakaroon ng negative pressure. Classification based on flow pattern. In cross flow towers, Yung dalawang flow stream, air and water, they are arranged at 90 degrees to each other. The water flows vertically downward through the fill, while the air flows horizontally through it. So, ito yung flow ng water and yung air. Ibig sabihin, yung flow ng air at water perpendicular sila sa isa't isa. Next, counter flow. Sa counter flow towers, yung water and air flow is in opposite direction. Yung water nag-flow siya vertically downward and yung air flows vertically upward. Cooling tower design consideration. 
The required tower size will be a function of cooling range, approach to wet bulb temperature, mass flow rate of water, wet bulb temperature, air velocity through tower, and tower height. So, yung temperature level, importante, kasi sa higher temperature, possible na mas mataas or greater yung cooling. At yung saturated air will rise exponentially with temperature. Cooling tower construction, the hyperbolic shape is made because of the following reasons. More packing or yung fill can be fitted in the bigger area at the bottom of the shell. Entering air gets smoothly directed towards the center because of the shape of the wall, producing a str strong upward drop. Greater structural strength and stability of the shell is provided by this shape. Sample, the cooling water leaves the condenser of a power plant and enters a wet cooling tower at 35 degrees Celsius at a rate of 100 kg per second. Water is cooled to 22 degrees Celsius in the cooling tower by air that enters the tower at 1 atmospheric, 20 degrees Celsius and 60% relative humidity and leaves saturated at 30 degrees Celsius. Neglecting the power input to the fan determine the volume flow rate of air into the cooling tower. The mass flow rate of air of the required makeup water, range, approach, and efficiency. Para masold natin yung mga pinapahanap sa problem, kailangan mo na natin hanapin yung mga properties at each given value. So at point 1, we have 20 degrees Celsius dry bulb temperature and 60% relative humidity. Yung enthalpy, makikita, mahanap yun sa psychrometric chart using tong values na to. And we have enthalpy of 42 kJ per kilogram dry air. Humidity ratio of 0 0.088 um, kilogram vapor per kilogram dry air. Kinanvert siya ng kilogram kasi yung nasa psychrometric chart ay gram vapor. Then, specific volume, 0 0.843 cubic meter per kilogram dry air. And wet bulb temperature of 15.2 degrees Celsius. At point 0.2, we have 30 degrees Celsius and 100% relative humidity, enthalpy of 99.9 .9 and humidity ratio of 0 0.0273. At point 0.3, using steam table at table 1, 35 degrees Celsius, H3 is equals to HF equals 146.68. Since liquid naman yung pumapasok sa point 0.3, dito, and uh, sa point 4, kaya HF yung kukunin. Then, at point 4, H4 is 92.33 kJ per kilogram. Para makuha yung mass flow rate of air, ito yung equation. Paano na-derive yan? Ito, nag-energy balance. Ayan. Energy in is equals to energy out. Since yung work pump ay equals to zero, and yung M4 dito at yung M3 magkaiba kasi yung M4 uh, nagkaroon ng losses kaya mas maliit yung value nito kaysa sa M3. Ngayon, dyan na pumapasok yung makeup water. Kasi kung ano yung nawala sa may M4, yun yung dadagdag na tubig para mabuo yung M3. So, ito yung mass balance. Then, ang value ng M4 or yung equation ng M4 is M3 less makeup water. Paano nakuha yung 
uh, equation ng makeup water. So, nagmas balance sa may dry air and dun sa water. Yung sa may water, since humidity ratio naman to ay multiply siya sa may mas flow rate ng air, ganun din sa may, M, sa may point 2. Kaya makukuha ay MA multiply to difference ng humidity ratio. Then, dun sa may energy balance, isa-substitute lang natin yung M4. Then, we have an equation of M3 multiply to H4 less H3 over H1 less H2 plus product of H4 multiply to difference ng humidity ratio. Then, then, substitute na lang yung mga values, yung mga properties na nakuha. Makukuha natin volume flow rate of air which is 81.53 meter cube per second. Then, next na kukunin ay yung mass flow rate of the required makeup water. Then, sub, dun sa equation, substitute lang ulit yung mga values. Makukuha 1.79 kg per second. Yung next na kukunin is yung range. Yung range, ito yung difference ng condenser water supply temperature at yung water supply temperature leaving from the cooling tower. So, T3 less T4. We have 13 degrees Celsius value of range. Approach, ito naman yung difference between the condenser water supply temperature and the entering wet bulb temperature. Then, we have 6.8 degrees Celsius. Next, efficiency. Yung efficiency ng cooling tower is equals to T3 less T4 over T3 less wet bulb temperature. We have 65.66 uh, percent. So, paano na-derive naman yung sa cooling tower? Yung ito yung formula range over range plus approach. So, T3 less T4 T3 less T4 plus T4 less wet bulb temperature then cancel, cancel ito yung equation kaya yan. That ends my discussion. Thank you.